Welcome to Open Legacies Hub. This video will show you how to create Kubernetes applications from low-code projects and deploy them to AWS using EKS. This demonstration uses an existing CICS project. To see how we created it, please watch our mainframe CICS integration video. You can find the link in the video description. We use the update kube config command to create or update the kube config for our target EKS cluster. Returning to the CLI, we generate a low code project using the Spring Java REST generator based on an existing project in the hub, account CICS microservice. We change directories to the project folder and use Gradle to build the project. We now create a Docker image that contains the application code, libraries, dependencies, and other files that are needed to run the account CICS microservice application. and we log into the remote AWS ECR Docker registry. Still using the CLI, we create a repository in AWS to be displayed in the AWS console. In a browser, we see that the repository has been created. We can now push the previously created Docker image to the repository. We have to configure the AWS deployment file to pick up our new application. We replace all appearances of the string app name with the name of our application, accounts CICS microservice demo. And then we apply the new configuration to the accounts CICS microservice demo resource. Because this configuration file contains the deployment configuration, Running the apply command will deploy the application, create the service, and define the networking and routing. We can now retrieve the URL of the demo we just created. We will test the methods using OpenAPI. To open the account, we select the open account method and click try it out. We then enter the input data and click execute and we see the response. And now we test the getAccount method. We provide the input account ID, and in the response, we see the customer account details. Thank you for watching this video. For links and other details, please see the description below. If you have any questions, please contact us at Open Legacy.